Uh, back home, I had some fog this morning. It was kind of gloomy out there, wasn't it? That's an understatement. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been kind of one of those gloomy days. And the fog is going to improve in most locations, except for maybe Lakeside hanging around in a few spots. And if you had plans to go out on the water, Lake Michigan, dense fog advisory there on the open water. So uh, maybe rethink those plans with temperatures in the 50s, chance of showers. But in general, again, the visibility is really starting uh, to improve. Uh, visibility now at four miles in Milwaukee, 2.5 miles in Waukesha, still less than a mile in Port Washington and this is a live look in Port Washington at the marina there and yes you can see the fog especially over Lake Michigan 61 degrees the current temperature in Port Washington one of the cooler spots currently in Milwaukee we're at 68 degrees now winds out of the east southeast at five miles per hour and across southeastern Wisconsin look inland away from the lake away from the fog temperatures are warming well into the 70s 76 in Whitewater now 75 in Lake Geneva 70 in Waukesha now uh, the reason Reason for the fog or part of the reason we got the moisture really starting to build. You may think ah, it's a little sticky, a little clammy out here. We have dew points in the 60s, even a 71 dew point in Watertown. That's getting quite sticky uh, here in Milwaukee. Dew point at 64. So your dew point cast humid today. Dew points in the 60s tomorrow and into Thursday back into the comfortable range in the 50s, and then we'll see the dew points back on the rise again Friday and into the weekend. So along with the fog, we can't rule out a stray shower still this afternoon. We had a couple little isolated showers pop up this morning. We could see a similar case again this afternoon and overnight tonight. A great midweek forecast Wednesday and Thursday. Both look fantastic. Then we find ourselves under the ring of fire as we head into the weekend. A very typical pattern where we see thunderstorms riding on the edge of a wave of heat that will set up uh, across uh, the Midwest. Storm 4 max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. No precipitation. Some clouds overhead. As we widen the view here, a few sprinkles, a few showers to the north and a few showers to the south. Area of low pressure in play here as we go through the afternoon and evening. Six o'clock, notice these little green specks. There's your possibility of stray showers. This isn't much. Don't bank on rain. Overnight tonight, we could see a few showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms roll through. If we see those develop, they will be scattered. Then high pressure fills in for tomorrow. Bright sunshine on the way for your Wednesday and more of the same as we head on into Thursday. Your forecast for today, a high temperature topping out around 70 degrees near the lake. Inland 78, slight chance of showers for tonight. Slight chance of a thunderstorm with a low temperature of 60. Could see some fog develop again this evening. Here's your seven day forecast on Wednesday 77, Thursday. Thursday 77 inland up to 81 degrees. A couple of really nice summer days here Wednesday and Thursday. Then Friday a slight chance of storms with a high temperature of 82 degrees. The slight chance of storms stick around as we head into Saturday and Sunday. These storm chances really hit and miss for the most part. Saturday a big day in Franklin. The Make-A-Wish Big Bash for Kids will be at the Rock Sports Complex. Temperatures in the 80s, very warm and humid with a slight chance of storms. Storms possible on Father's Day with a high of 88 and then 82 on Monday with more thunderstorms, Elise. All right, thanks, Brian.